Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I originally had plans for three different types of videos today uh, involving the superhero world. We have casting news over with Spider-Man Far From Home. We have the Batgirl series in the works now, as well as a, another poster for Aquaman. But I wanted to take the time today to just talk about John Schnepp. Um, I mean... If you are familiar with the superhero movie community, John Schnepp plays a huge role in that. He was with AMC Movie Talk, and then went to Collider Movie Talk, and he has this show, Collider Heroes. I met the guy a few times at conventions. Nice guy, by all means. I'm not telling you I know everything about this man. I don't. I'm not personally. I'm like, because I'm not his buddy or anything. But uh, I did meet him a couple times, uh, most recently. And Megacon a month ago, he was there. I picked up his Blu-ray of the uh, documentary of The Death of Superman Lives. What happened? Uh, that documentary. And i seen the movie before, but I, I wanted to get on Blu-ray. And he had a panel there. And I believe I even put a community post of John Schnepp's, you know, a panel there. Well, um, if you guys are a fan of Collider, fan of Collider Heroes and John Schnepp, then you guys might be aware that he was extremely sick. He's been in the hospital. John Campia first, you know, I, I found this out by Campia first because John Campia posts uh, something in his community tab about Snap. And then by then, I went and started following Robert Meyer Burnett, his friend, his fiance Holly, and everybody on Twitter. And I just started following it. And then. You know, Collider finally hit up on it on this past Monday and just kind of let people know what's going on. And, um, you know, I've been following this news very heavily since I found out from Campia that Snap has been in the hospital. Um, and as news has been coming out, it's been it's not good. It's just been getting worse. And I really feel bad for his fiance Holly, uh, the situation she's going in, because I went through a similar situation a few years back with my father-in-law, with my wife and mother-in-law, and it's, it's not a good situation. So I've been checking constantly on Twitter for updates. I'm like every hour on the hour I'm checking for updates. I know they created a GoFundMe campaign. I'm gonna have the link in the description box so you guys can go if you want to help support. They're trying to raise uh, I think 150,000 or 80,000 currently when I'm doing this video. You guys can go check this up. So I woke up and for the past few days, the first thing I do when I wake up is I check Twitter and I check Holly's account and see if there's any change. And um, I checked it today and um And uh, she posted that he suffered a catastrophic stroke on July 12th. And um, he's currently on life support. And um, again, I don't know this guy, okay? I met him a few times. He's a cool guy. And I don't know why it's hit me so hard. But I, I went through the situation before my father-in-law who passed away from liver failure um and he sat in the hospital for a month and then when you get put on life support that's pretty much the end and now that um you know his fiance holly has to make the decision on what's gonna happen is she gonna leave him on there she's gonna take him off he had a catastrophic stroke okay so even if he somehow pulls through he's not gonna be the same person you know um so now she has to kind of come up with that decision and it, it bothers me because you know um i watched him for so many years on amc and collider and i always loved to hear what he had to think about these movies and to think that you know that he might not be around when avengers 4 comes out and and the fox disney merger you know and you people, you know, you guys might think it's weird for um, someone who doesn't know somebody personally to feel that bad for someone I don't know. But um, there's not that many people in the world that you meet that's actually nice. You know, you meet a lot of celebrities and whatnot, and then when you finally meet them, they're douchebag versions of what you thought they were actually going to be. And I met this guy, had conversations with this man. 
And, um, you know, I always enjoy tuning in and getting his opinion on what's going on with what's going on with DCEU, what's going on with Marvel Studios, you know, um, Fantastic Four, you know, coming over to Marvel. He's a big Fantastic Four fan. Um, a lot of stuff that I didn't even know about. And I've been a comic book fan since I was like six. And things I didn't even know about, I didn't know until he brought it up on, on Collider Heroes and stuff. And there were certain recommendations that he, that he, you know, recommended on the show that I checked out and now I'm a fan of because of his recommendation and his insight on certain things. And, um, you know, I don't know. It just, it's hit me pretty hard. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I lived through that same thing with my wife and my mother-in-law when she had to do. And the fact that now that he, I, I was fine till I found out he was on life support. And then it just like a whole cloud of memories started hitting me and then I'm, I'm I put myself in his fiance's shoes and it's it's a shame because you know I, I it's a shame um it bothers me quite a bit uh, I've been pretty quiet since I heard the news this morning my wife keeps asking me if I'm all right I think I mean yeah But anyway, I just wanted to do this video to try to bring attention to those who may not know um, John Schnapp and might want to um, you know, send their prayers and if they can donate to help reach the goal for his fiance Holly for the GoFundMe um, campaign. I uh, get my YouTube check on the 21st and I'm going to donate something to that and um Yeah, I'm gonna I wanna go guys, but um thank you guys for listening. Send your prayers and um I'll see you guys next time. Later guys.